The effort is minimal and the impact is immediate. There's been no words from the outgoing president, but on many roads across Brazil, lorry drivers have been staging their own response to Lula's win in the general election. With over 300 protests recorded by the police, it's a situation that's closely reminiscent of Donald Trump's defeat in 2020 that ultimately led to the storming of the US Capitol. We won't accept losing what we've gained so far. We want what's written on our flag, order and progress. We will not accept the result. Bolsonaro was removed from his throne and we are going to put him back in power with the strength we, the lorry drivers, have. Their protests have prompted security forces to block access to the Congress in Brasilia, where other groups have gathered. Many driver associations indeed back the current president, and a senior member of staff at Bolsonaro's campaign headquarters said his aides are urging him to accept defeat to stop the protests from spreading any further. Several of his key allies have publicly recognised the result, and contact has been made with Lula's camp about the transition that's to come on the 1st of January. But the context is such that Lula is set to lead a deeply divided country. By receiving 50.9% of votes, he's won by the narrowest margin since the country's return to democracy. Only his political actions will prove whether he can reduce the polarisation during his third term as president of Brazil.